I'm going to make um, an exciting mixture, a mixture which we can use to, to show a number of things. The first of which is going to be the rapid reaction of a fuel with a source of oxygen. And um, we can use the heat from that rapid combustion reaction to excite other ions. Because, you know, we could go and have a look at an emission spectrometer and do all sorts of elegant experiments like that, but this one is a really cheap and dirty and honest way of, of seeing those different colours from flame tests. So here I've got some sugar. This is this the stuff I put in my coffee. In fact, I went and got this from our lovely Sue upstairs, who's an absolute darling. And you can see I'm going to put quite a charge in because we're going to use maybe two or three different experiments from this mixture today. So this is the second component of our mixture, and that's potassium chlorate. And the reason we're using chlorate is because it's got lots of oxygen in it. It allows me to put lots of oxygen intimately close to all of the exciting bonds that I want to break inside the sugar. We need to add about the same volume of potassium chlorate. This isn't particularly good practice. So we shake it all up, give it a good mix. Now we need to test our mixture. Okay, so we're going to pour a small amount of it out on the bench onto a heat-proof mat. So what's in this mixture? We've got sugar and we've got chlorate ions because they're delivering all of that nice oxygen. And the chlorate ions are delivered with potassium. Okay, so realistically what we should see is a nice luminescent flame from the burning sugar with the colour of excited potassium. So that should be a nice lilac colour. So the emission spectrum of the potassium ion is lilac. So let's have a look, all right? Fantastic, a lovely reaction. All of that energy in the sugar and all of the carbon is being transformed into carbon dioxide. A little bit of elemental carbon there, you know, the nice sooty carbon, a lot of water vapour, a lot of steam. And what you saw there with all of that steam and that energy was the lovely lilac emission spectrum of that potassium ion. So we need to take some strontium ions. And in this case, I've got a small amount of strontium nitrate, okay? Now I'm gonna take a small amount and put it into a test tube. Now we take our excitement mixture Give it a bit of a shake, mix it all up so that all of those metal ions are mixed into all of that nice um, source of, of carbon and energy. Now all we need to do is add a little bit of energy. Wow, what a fantastic reaction. Really, really energetic, lots of energy coming out, lots of hot steam, lots of hot CO2. And importantly, a lovely, lovely red colour from the strontium emission. Fantastic. So we're going to use the same mixture of sugar and chlorate. But this time I'm going to add a small amount of a different metal salt. And this time I'm going to use barium nitrate, OK? And again, I'm going to add some of my combustion mixture now. We're using the energy of that combustion of the sugar to excite the barium so that we can observe its emission spectrum or the flame test colour. Again, pour it out onto a heat proof mat. So, again. So this time, again, we saw the same exciting chemical reaction we saw that same exothermic reaction lots of co2 lots of steam again but this time the flame was colored green and this is the, the characteristic apple green which is associated with barium salts so much more exciting flame test every time we change the metal we change the color so this time we're going to try some copper this is copper 2 chloride so instantly you'll see that the copper salt is a really nice greeny blue color so this is going to change the the view of the chemistry straight away. Now I'm being very careful to make sure that this doesn't have too much I suppose exposure to the atmosphere because I don't want water to get into this chemistry. I want to try and keep it as dry as possible. Now this time you'll be able to see the efficiency of that nice greeny copper salt distributing into that white combustion mixture. Now that, that was great. A lovely blue flame from that copper chloride. Wasn't that really fantastic? That was brilliant. So I'm going to make a mixture now. Well, I'm going to make a series of mixtures, which I'm going to place along the bench. That's the copper, strontium, 
barium. So let's see what happens if we do all three. That copper burns so fast. So, uh, periodic videos trickle or. <laughs> that copper burns so fast. 